أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم What is the meaning of Alif Lam Mim? As far as the meaning of the words Alif Lam Mim etc is concerned these words are known as mutakkakat. They are known as the broken letters. And they occur in several surahs of the Quran. Sometimes they occur in single, like Saad, in Surah Saad, chapter 38, as Qaf, Surah Qaf, chapter 50, as Noon, in Surah Kalam, chapter 68. Sometimes it occurs in twos in pairs, like Taha, Surah Taha, chapter number 20, Taasim, in Surah Namal, chapter 27, as Yasin, Surah Yasin, chapter 26. Sometimes it occurs in combination of three, and the three combinations mentioned in the Quran, one occurs six times, five times, the other twice, it's 30 times that occurs in combination of three. One combination is Alif Lam Mim. It is then Surah Baqarah chapter number 2, Surah Imran chapter number 3, and Surah number 29, 30, 31, 32. It occurs in the combination of Alif, Lam, Ra, from Surah Yunus chapter number 10 to Surah Hijar chapter number 15, five times. It even occurs as Taasin, Mim, in Surah Shura chapter number 26, as well as Surah number 28. It occurs in the combination of four letters, Alif, Lam, Mim, Ra, and other combinations. It even occurs twice in combination of five. So in short, there are five combinations, single, double, three letter, four letter, five letter. Totally, there are 29 times that occurs in the Quran, equal to the Arabic letters, Alif, Ba, Ta, 29 times, counting even Hamza. There are various reasons that people have said why do these broken letters occur. Several reasons and many books have been written, volumes have written. Some say these are the symbols of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Some say the abbreviation like noon is for noor, that is light. Some say they are signatures of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Some say they are used for rhyming. Some say they have got numerical values. Some say they have been used for calling the attention, attracting the attention of the Prophet and Prophet used it for the other human beings, various reasons. But the best amongst them, I feel, is the view which is also of Hazrat Abu Bakr, may Allah be with him. For example, we know what the body is made up of. Whatever components the body has, the same elements and components are present in the earth, in lesser or greater quantity. We know the constituents of the human being. We can buy it from the market. We can put water, but you can't give life. That is the secret. Similarly, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala use these letters and tells to the Arabs. The Arabs at that time, they were proud of the language. And Arabic was at its peak. So Allah says, Alif, Lam, Mim, Yasin, Qaf, Noon. These are your letters. With your letters, I've produced the Quran. He challenges them to produce somewhat similar to the Quran. And this challenge is given in several places. In Surah Tur, chapter number 52, verse number 34, that produce a book like the Quran. Allah repeats the message in Surah Isra, chapter number 17, verse number 88. Allah says, produce a recital like the Quran. Then Allah makes the challenge a bit easier and says in Surah Hud, chapter number 11, verse number 13, that Allah challenges that can you produce 10 surahs like the Quran. Allah further simplifies the challenge in Surah Yunus, chapter number 10, verse number 38, that produce a single surah like the Quran. Allah makes it simplified further in Surah Baqarah chapter 2 verse number 23 and 24 where Allah says, in kuntum fi ala bi suratim min misli. That if you are in doubt as what we have revealed to our servant Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, then produce a surah somewhat similar to it. Wad u shuwada akum in kuntum sadiqeen. And call forth your helpers and witnesses if there are any besides Allah, if your doubts are but true. But if you cannot do it, and of 
Surely you cannot do it. فَتَكُنْ نَارَ الَّتِي وَكُودُهَا النَّاسُ وَالْهِجَارَةِ وَيَدَّتِ الْكَافِرِينَ Then fear the fire whose fuel shall be men and stones, which is prepared for those who reject faith. So this is the challenge Allah says to the Arab who are proud of the language. This is your letters, Alif, Lam, Mim, A, B, C, D. From your letters, I've created the Quran. He challenges, try and produce a surah somewhat similar to the Quran. So this is the closest explanation that I feel is right. It's a challenge Allah is giving. And that is the reason, moment these broken letters are uh, mentioned in the Quran, immediately after that, there is some attribute of the Quran mentioned after that. So I feel this explanation, I feel, is the closest to the meanings of these broken letters and Allah Alam.